sa according sa statistics sa Amerika, gawas sila na one out of two marriages. I don't know kung ano mo pa And some Indians, but good. Kung ano pa yun? So at sa subong sa Pilipinas, so no, naga sigi subong ang ang work, no? Ang pwede, ang divorce, ma, ma pass na. Kag, binaba natin last time, na hindi lang din na an exclusive issue sa mga tao na wala na natuho kay Jesus Christ as their Savior. But even among Christian believers. Ang bote na sa inyo, mga asawa or bana, nga napapaminsan na nakulitin lang sa lahat sa ginoo, Pwede din lang na nagabudlo ang mata ni Pastor Erol o Dita ko nung mayaan ko na yun. And I think it has, it has something to do with... Okay. And I think it has something to do with wrong understanding ang ano pangasal. No, at a very deceptive pala yung pinigilatawag na love story because most of the time, Naramihan ka sa inyong mga na may kakuha ko o kakuha ka lang yun. Nag-crash ka lang yun. That's why mas hindi na tayo at may love the person. For number two, mas hindi ikaw na yung pamana kung hindi ka lang from that time when I was down, I was struggling, hindi arap siya. So, ano ko ko? Though hindi na ako patulukod ng huli, so namin na may kapay na na tulukod ko. Pero kapati din ako, kapati din ako without understanding sa biblical role sa kasawa at wala. It is really difficult to enjoy what marriage really is. Ngayon ko lang na, ako pila sa inyo na nag-uukod ng kamo o ito yung agwantan nyo na lang. Sa balay may kore, sa balay may kore. Pera ka lang, ay okay na po ka. Wala lang kita yung akin ang tanay. And that is why, no, panamay si Apostle Paul, bugay-bugay niya dito, and remind niya kita, okay, sa mga asawa, no, I don't know, buwag ka mo this week. If you remember ang aton na naging hambal, na you must submit your husband, that a husband should love their wives. No, so, So, time na rin suko sa mga husband. So, let's go and start reading again. Ephesians chapter 5, verses 22 to 33. Let's read this together. Go. Why? Submit to your husband as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife. Jesus Christ is the head of the church. His body is his house. Savior. Now, as the church of Jesus Christ, So also I should submit in everything for their husbands. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, that he might sanctify her, having blessed her in the washing of water in the word, so that he might present the church to himself in splendor without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy. In the same way, husband should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one ever takes his own flesh, but he also shares and cherishes it, just as Christ does the church, because we are members of his body. Therefore, a man should give his father and mother, and go back to his wife, and that we should show him God to one church. This mystery is profound, and I am thinking that it refers to Christ and the Church. However, let this one of you now decide as himself, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. Let us pray, Father. We beg you that you will work in our lives, and we are praying for you, dear Holy Spirit, and God and me, to make understand some of So Lord, cover your servant by your grace. Nagkabay pa, wala na sa iban na madayaw sa ako kung ang good day ikaw na rin. So Lord, speak to us today. This is us in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Now, sa mga bisita namon, no, welcome ka the naga series kita sa Book of Ephesians. And the uh, first three chapters of Book of Ephesians, if you remember, talks about what the Lord Jesus Christ did to us. And kung kung uh, uh, understand nato ina, grabe ang ginoo because He has been faithful to us from the foundation of the world no, towards eternity in future. No? So from eternity to eternity, God loves us. But hindi pala ka na aming sinta. Nga before nga ikubra ang mga siyagal ng simba, ara ka na sa Christ. He, he, he picked you for himself before the foundation of the world. And that is why, three apostle Paul, after sina, ano naman ang ubra punta, he said, therefore, as prisoner for the Lord, I urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called. Of course, hindi na ang pumabayaran ng ino, but you've been telling each other na, yeah, hindi na ito pumabayaran ng ino, but he expects us to reciprocate what he did to us. So, kung ang ginoo gave his life for you, nag-expect pa ng ginoo na ihatag ka man kung ako ka bukit sa iyan. Kung ang ginoo nag-bless ako every day, nag-expect man siya na kita mag-live a life of blessing to others. Hindi ba lang? Normal lang kita. At least, sino nga ito? Sino nga ito? Iimit ito, of course, ang ako ng ginoo. No, sabi-sabi niya sa... And Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1, Therefore, be imitators of God as in love and children. So, paano natin imitate ang ino? Well, ang hapan ang ino. God is love, so we must walk in love. God is light, so we must walk in love. Light and God is wise, so we must walk wisely. And as we can last time we go, so how, how would we actually be up? How could we apply this truth that we will be loving, now we will be walking in the light that people can see our good works and glorify our Father is in heaven. Kapag katapos yun na, we will walk wisely. We will not be wasting our time. We will not be wasting our resources. We will be a blessing to people. We must submit to one another out of reverence for us. As Christians, we need to to submit one another to one another. But say, you we must cooperate. We must play our role because we have one boss and that is the Lord Jesus Christ. Actually, it's a vision today. It's not because our husband, our fathers, our masters are the boss. No? We submit because uh, our response, uh, we submission is the responsibility of all. Because Jesus is the boss. Uh, so, we have many relationships, no relationship between husband and wife, that was relationship with parents and children, relationship between masters and slaves in the workplace. But, kita ng mga pesuhan, no, harap ito na, harap ito na. Hanira na ako to display, may pakita sa kalibutan, ng ako na dino ko is loving, ng ako dino is in the light, ng ako dino ko, So, una natin discuss today is ang relationship between husband and wife. Paano nato nag-imitate si Jesus Christ ang ginoo through the relationship of husband and wife. So, we said last time, na mga wives, na mga lingkong, submit to your husbands as to the Lord. So, this is so fundamental that when Apostle Paul instructed Titus sa nag-start sa isang church dito, sa creed, he said, Titus, instruct all to the men to be submissive to their own husbands that the word of God may not be revived. Kalaw ay na rin na tawon sa isang simbahan na ang mga asawa inanawdao ang nila ang ilabanan. So, so, yeah, very, 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 very fundamental rin na. So, nga ang masabit kita. No? So, sila niya tali, number one, because God is a God of order, no? ang husband ng home ed. And then number two, because if husband, that's a big responsibility to do. Ako na-historia, yung brown na ito, ako na-discuss na ako. Na that's 
why you need to, to, to operate, you need to submit. And of course, the most important thing why women, why should submit to, the, to their husband? Because Christ wants to illustrate His relationship to the church through marriage. Wala nang hindi sa mga, wala, ako ka personally sa akon, wala nang hindi sa pinakalapit, pinaka-appropriate na picture or example how Christ loves His church, how Christ cares sa iyan na church, how, how Christ uh, cherishes His church kung hindi sa marriage relation. So, so amoy na, no? amoy ni ang, ang very very important na truth na we should place in our in our minds. No? Kag, amoy na, ang last time na ito, ang pin-encourage ko kamo, mga asawa, I think you can start by just appreciating your husband. Amoy sa inyo na progress na sa inyo na sa inyo na sa pagpali ng pa. Kaya sa salamat kaya kung ano na namin ang tipos sa inyo, hindi ka rin na swap na sumo, kaya kung nilapad ng klasa sa alam mo, tapos ipagugal ng mga sa inyo mga kapur, kung may ako sa husband ko kaya kamuni na kamuna, kaya kami bilang mga husbands ba ba o lang kita ba mo kaya kaya, hindi ka rin to well no. Hindi nyo pa na paghihakal sa amo. Sakto? Kung ano ang puno ako, ano ang maayong na nakita niyo sa amo? Kung ano ang maayong na nakita niyo sa amo? Namin ang talik sa kumagkano man ka. Parang mag-inspire. No, but this morning, but this morning, we should, we should inspire. I know it's the best gift for that as a good one, you know, last time, you know, I said that ako. Think of it last time, God, this ambition is the best gift a wife can give to her husband. Okay? Sila na to all is a busy wife. It's a happy wife. Kasi sa tutuwal ng gay, ang mga wives are designed, are designed to be covered by their husband. Kung hindi ka kasabihin, hindi ka gilang happy. Okay? So, kato na kita. Mga husbands, ready? Okay, no, hindi ko kung ano kung isa masawa ko. Pero subong wala ko siya. Ah, ito sa galing mo. Don't put dahil hindi kami kayo makita na hindi na langga. Kaya nga dito, maamuha mo ko pa sila. Kaya nga siya ko. Anyway, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25. Kambal sa ginoo sa mga husbands, sila niya. Husbands, love your wives. This is very, very, very foundational. Nga ang word that is, ang husband, love your wives, is a command. This is an imperative. This is not an option. Kag sila niya, kasi ano yung ano 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 and six that others are yes to you. No, ang 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 iya dali mo si love your wife. It's not because karatika mo sa iya do love niya to maglantaw. Do 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 fly 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 do bumper fly. No, hindi ako ina mo. Ang 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 magsilili ka ng kasman to love your wife. Karatika mo sa iyo asawa, Carly, panamit na niyo. I want, I, it is always my desire that you will be the best version of yourself by the grace of God. That is love. But Selina, how would you, how would you do it? 
se ele me apaixone em ti, é se ele me ama em mim. As Christ loved the church and gave to himself us. Just like a picture of Jesus Christ that he gave his life to the church. Put it in one, sit in one. Langa, own mo, agree mo, asawa. To the point na, na willing ikaw na ihatag mo ang imo kabundi para sa iyo. And that is why, may isa ka commentator na nagkambal din, this divine love, which is one of the fruits of the Spirit, is itself empowered in spirit-filled aspects. Those who are wearing the garment of a new man, any attempts to exhibit this kind of love based upon natural strength or self-effort are destined to fail. So, sa totoo lang yun, kinanglan ako ni Pino, naturally, itang ang mga lalaki, tamad. Ay lang po, saan ka pangalihan ko eh? Masubong? Hindi ko lang? Ito? Ay! Liak ko! And that is why, if we do want to fulfill this, we badly need the Holy Spirit. And that, 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 this is very, very important. At ano ini, nga anang sabihin sa kinangan pangin matyan, This kind of love that you can get hung around me, I had a good thing, I got a good thing importante because we are talking about the spiritual welfare of your wife. Sitting here with me, that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word. So that he might present the church to himself in splendor without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. Sila niya mga ito, mga baana, nagdaan yung ginagigil mga asawa, even if this will cause your life, primarily on your spiritual world. At sila niya, sa spirit, Amongst us, a spiritual welfare is number one, ang iyang salvation. And that is why, yung pabangkong tirahoy ni mga bana, naluwas ng iyong asapo. Ang nagkawag na nangbaliyan, that he might sanctify her. Ang word na sanctification today, or set apart, hindi hindi siya actually, ano ni, progressive sanctification, but positional sanctification. This is, Once in a lifetime, after you have believed in Jesus Christ, you separate us and you know to Himself. Ang siling niya ang ingin, bali mga bana, nagkakandaan niyo mga asawa and see to Him na na-set apart siya para sa Him. Ang siling niya, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the Lord means to cause something to become clean. In a spiritual sense, it means to purify from pollution and guilt of sin. Romans chapter 10, ang sa inyong familiar mo kami sini, For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. How then will they call on Him in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in Him of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear with without someone preaching. And how are they to preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed what he has heard from us? So faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. And that is why we believe in the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, Uh, ikaw nga ba na, ikaw nga ba na, next week na nga ito ba na tatay. Ikaw nga mga ba na, we should always teach the gospel, preach the gospel, share the gospel to our wife. Our respective wife. Kaya we must make sure, we must always check that they are of the faith. Number two. Number two. Spiritual 
maturity. No? Sarap niya. So, hindi lang ang salvation, but ang purpose pa din niya, ang pagkaon mo kinang inuwa sa awa, so that sila niya, she might present the church to himself in splendor. A present kuno literally means to place or set beside or near and hence to place at someone's disposal. It means to present oneself for service or to put at the service of. But sila niyo, ita nga mga bana, we should always give our best so that ang atong asawa, we could present them to the Lord ready for service. Just like ang mga priest sa una sa Israel. No? Before, before mag-serve sila sa temple or sa ano din sa tabernacle, no? they are being consecrated. No? They are offered and they must be without blemish. Kasi sila niya, ang hamal na bibi without spot or wrinkle or anything. No? Ang, ang term sila mas spot, unwanted stain upon something ang wrinkle, siya ang wrinkle pa daw ay kapatagin mo ang asawa na minang ipit siya ready for service that she might be holy without blemish. Si Bartley na hambal siya, sabi niya, thinks of the old men as our offering to God. He thinks of taking every part of our life, work, pleasure, sport, home life, personal relationship, making them all such that they can be offered to God. Hindi pala mo nangyayang bata sa Romans chapter 12 verse 1 and po siya ay appeal to you therefore brothers by the mercies of God to present your bodies as living sacrifice holy and acceptable to God which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewal of your mind that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Abunin ka rin for out na ito. Ito ang ragon. Ito ang ragon for out na ito. Ito si Nibel, si Mayuri, ito si Darlene, ready for every good works. Okay, matamal ba? Okay. Condition. Because amu ini ang aton nga ando nga aton mga asawa nga asawa sa pag-alagdan sa ginomo ready ready but of course kung sila nakabuglan niya buligan niya sa ginomo kay promise niya na Philippians 1.6 I am sure of this that He who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus. Ang question ng Pinaraya ang willing to. Are you willing? Are you willing to to work hard even if it will drain you so that ang imo asawa mangin namin namin kapisuhan mo sa tubangan sa ang imo. Spiritual welfare. But number two, hindi lang ang spiritual welfare but of course, ang physical. Sila, in the same way, husbands should love their wives. No? Ang love tere, compared sa love kay ina ko, hindi ako man. No? Na amoy na, maybe, maybe because ginag-imply lang siguro that this apostle Paul na this is secondary. This is not, this is not as important. It is natural. Ang pinaka-importante din, ang anuwasan or what will he profit a man if he gains the whole world, but he will lose his own soul? Personally, niya, okay, in the same way, uh, of course, spiritual, even uh, that you should also love your wife as their own bodies. No? He who loves his wife loves himself. So, but you know, kung lalaki ka, kung bana ka, kinatake care mo sa sa to? Kinatake care mo kung nagkakabayaan mo sa kusina, no? Pero kung 
actually doon sila, ginaubra mo ang mga buta ng mga panipay sa inyo. Sila niya, Kani, kung amo, amo na iyong mindset towards yourself, Kani, amo man na ang mindset mo towards your wives. Hindi na yung sila niya, ikaw yan iba yun, wala pong galitun mo. Samtang ang iyong asawa, nagatan probes na ang buta sa inyo. You should, you should love your wife. You should love your wife as as part of your body. For no one ever treated his own flesh. Ang fornicolo is a strategic term of explanation which we do well to pause and ponder. Sina tawag yung hate for yourself? Hindi yeah, na-hate mo niyang magpalpa pa. Pero usually, hindi tayo mga lalaki. Babaw mo na kaligayahan nato, kung gusto niya ako niya magiging manigahan. Alam mo na, na natanin kung mga asawa ka o mag-amiga ka na because para lang sa inyong kalipanan. Kaya buwan na sa ulitin, kung hindi ka nalipay, biyaan mo. O mag gusto mo. So, saying niya, you really need, you really need to love your wife as your body. So, so, ano, ano yung physical welfare? Number one, ano yung health? Physical health, no? Well, yeah, no one ever ate his own flesh, but nourishes. Ang health pa ni hindi man ang ipurosa ng, ano na galing, na health, health, but overall health. Nourish, nourishes means to nourish up to maturity, to nurture, to bring up from childhood, to raise a child to maturity by providing not just for physical but also for emotional or soul needs. It means to provide food for uh, with the implication of a considerable period of time and the food being adequate nourishment. So this word could mean that the man is to be the breadwinner or the man. So, kung kayo sa galing, aki natin, kita mga lalaki, ha, basta, nakasweldo ko, isabit ko kay misis, okay na. Kota na ko. Makapangalipay na ko. Malat daw na ko. Hindi, misis na lang bahala. So, now na, spiritual welfare, but sila niya, overall, overall health, So, provide them more, but it takes care of it, isn't it? It takes care of it, isn't it? It takes care of it, isn't it? The check, no, but okay, man, I'm being busy, isn't it? It's a mustache, 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 isn't it?
sa'yo hindi naman sabihin ka lang na, ah, natagla ko na ito sa kwarta, napakadaan ko na ito sila na, ah, uh, okay na ito, ah, may salak yan, may panay, ano, si misis gusto na niya magpa, ano na, magpa facial mo, takbo na, oh, tanan, tanan, saan na pala pa, okay na ito, na take care na ito, ah, buwan mo na lang na ba, ito na awal, yan wala na ito, sige ito, okay na ito, Do you have a warm relationship? Ano pa rin pa lang na di pa ako na pa kanya dahil hindi ko ano so ano ako ano 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 Nabiyan mo magpakaon ko sa asawa mo. Hindi ito. Sa mga inyit man. Hindi na mahulay man sa ako. Ito? Oh. Ano? Ay, kaysa magkikain mo sa asawa mo. Pero nagawa mo lang ano, nabiyagoy ka sa luto. No? Ha? Ang inisugyahan mo lang pero may kaya pala iran. May pala iran ko sa kwa. May pala iran ko. Ang muna din na. Ayaw lang git ka may pala iran ko. Ikaw mag-play sa ibong aron. 
you will never experience what married life really is. Ang experience mo lang yung marriage contract. Pero, pero hindi din ang promise sa ginoo kung ako daw ano ka namin namin na sa desadya, ka very fulfilling, na klase sa marriage, you will never experience once you restore the plan, the order of God. Ano na siguro reminder ko lang sa mga couples? You know, wala mo kung kasiling na na mag-sleep kita, na sa lap mag-sleep ikaw sa balay sa iyong mga parents. No? Because kinasubo ang kita sa ginoo to take care of our parents. Pero sa literally sa atong na natunan ng mga if ang imo pag-fulfill sa imo marriage duty na naka-apektuhan, naka-apektuhan, bangun sa other members of the house, I think it's time for you to do it. Kung dito mo, kung dito mo, kung ang bala mo, sila nalang tukutun tayo, pero kung sila mo kukot, kaya kapag hindi mo kaya. Kaya ikaw yan kaya hindi mo ang kaya. In the guys na makasave ka mo, kaya ikaw yan na kastres. Bisan sabing na lang basta labi. Kung hindi, kung ma-fulfill ninyo ang inyong mga obligation, why not? Hindi ka lang. No, nga, nga ma-show mo man ang love, ang musini, ang, ang wife, ang musini. No? Paano ka, paano ka maka-minister sa ito? Asawa, kung aga pa, iyang nanay o tatay, ang mga sermon, ang damaw sa iyang. Wala ka naman tayo gusto. You see? And that is why you need, you really 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 need to check. Pero kung na-okay man lang, maka-practice mo lang ako muna. Go ahead. Sige nga. Feeling that this mystery is profound, and I am saying that it refers Christ and the Church. Feeling in John part of it, the sacredness of the Church is wed to the sacredness of marriage. So by your marriage, you are either a symbol or a denial of Christ and His Church. So sa imo how the way you handle your marriage. Kapakita ina kon kon either kasi lilit ka nga amo man di kita pa ang ang simbahan ni Ginoong Yesu Cristo in relationship to him or sa ita na nakulos or sa ita. So si Apostle Paul na nagkuglo di ba sila niya however Oh, ang muna si Jesus Christ, ang muna niya sa church. Pero hindi ka pa kasi rinan, si Jesus pa na niya. Jesus pa na niya. Tawo mo lang mo yan. However, let each one of you love his wife as himself. And let the wife see to it that she respects her husband. Very important naman kayo ang word nila pa daw sa mga lalaki naman. Sa pag-iyo. Ang bago sa inyo mo is another commandment. It's not an option. You know, after this, kabalo ko, masam mo kayo may talk sa ako ng wala. Kasi mas lang ko mo eh, may lang ko kayo. Eh, hindi ka man ang kipang. Ang fear ko lang ang mo yun eh, na mas ito lang pagkulit Pagkulit ninyo, mag-imanda ka mo, oh, katagay ka sa mali, pastor? Na, ha? Nourish, cherish, spiritual welfare, ha? Ano na? Physical welfare, okay, okay, ha? Ha? Ikaw, ha? Ha? You know, say, eh, hindi ko magalit sa bintan, ha? And you will have your welfare. 
you know, sa tundo at ito yun. Don't demand it sa inyong mga asmar. Don't demand it sa inyong mga asmar. Kaya sa tutuon ng game, ang ginuon na mismo ang mga naging demanding sa inyo. Just do your work. Kaya ito, kayo kasi leading down na, for example, ang authority and huwag kaya kayo hindi believer ang mga asmar. Para nga, kung kaya as well, kaya mo subok ba o kabuday-buday. Kaya ang brahala na yung mga Kaya ka pati na po, ang dugra ko po lang din ang inyong mag-rules, may subo sa ginoon ko. Basta sa akin, amun ni, amun no, amun na. Ito lang eventually. Eventually, ang ginoon ko, mag-work sa iya pag-ruf. Kaya mo mo na sa inyong mga bala ko. Basta lang na, ang ako na asawa na, wapang wapang. Pero nakibot din po. Duha ko lang kasi mga na nagduha na. Amuhi na ang mga mga But please, just do your part. Kasi after all, it is easy to respect a husband who loves you. And it is easy to love a wife who respects you. Okay, ang muna ang mga angrisa at mga asawa that you really need to submit your husband. Because we will be giving our lives for your spiritual welfare. And we will be giving our body for your physical welfare. Ang alam niya isang kapalda sa Colossians, chapter 3, verse 19, Husband, love your wives. Do not be harsh with them. First Peter, chapter 3, verse 7, Likewise, husbands, live with your wives in an understanding way, showing honor to the woman as the weaker vessel, since they are ears with you of the grace of life, so that your prayers may not be in you. Alam, nagilapang ulo pa ko sa inyo mo, kapag ilang yung inyo mga ba? Eh kung hindi, hindi din ang pag-iangal sa inyo mo sa inyo. Kasi sa mga singles siya, mga singka, as for the pag-iangal. Well, Number one, malilig din eh, hindi mo makita how the Lord Jesus Christ loved you. He gave His life to you. At kung wala ka man bana, wala ka man asawa, may nag-aamun sila si Jesus Christ, amun ang nag-nourish ka, nag-cherish sa iyo. Okay? Kung gusto mo bana, kung kayo ako sa nihagal sa akin mo, pero mas namin kayo na may Jesus. Yung hata na sa ginawa mo ang best. And number two, number two, you know, this is also an encouragement sa inyo lalaki na babae. To start, to start caring for others. Sa ila spiritual and and physical welfare. You need kapano ikaw mag sabihin. Kabalo man ikaw mag-care, kabalo ikaw mag-bless. Okay, actually, that is prepared in for many times. It doesn't matter sa mga panukipas ko, mga 57, o po po. Tingin na nila, wala na nila chance ako. Ang chili, ano ba? Pasig niya, ano? Hindi ba lang? No? Hindi, hindi ka daw baka ako eh. Mira ko sa atin. And that is why, sa atin, you really need, you really need, you really need to practice all of this. Because, because, kung hindi man kayo ka mong matayunan, isang ito, the one, or the two, the three, the two, the chance, you would still be a blessing. So, in those mga paan lang, may pamangkot ko sa inyo. Is your wife's name. Number two, is she growing spiritually? Number three, kamusta niya ang physical health na pamangkot mo? Kamusta niya ang EP? Kamusta niya ang EP? Number four, can you say that your relationship is smart? Kasi wala na akong history yan. Kasi ikaw lang ko lang ka na lang sa akin, isa na lang yung kalupok, may may pagini, may Israel ka, ang mas pinati na lang. Ang 
Our argument is a day-to-day -day reality. Hindi dito mo makalasin. Hindi. Ano rin naman ba isa ang case there? Hindi na doon doon kaliswa na natin. Ano rin yung patroon na dito? It has to stop. Kaya hindi pa mo hindi ang minahabal sa Bible na spiritual welfare kag physical. Hindi ko ma-start. Hindi ko na hindi ko ma-start sa inyo pala. I-start na muna. Nung we are actually encouraging sa kanan ng mga members of church. Ang panawag na akong na sa staff is worship and serve. Worship and serve. May huwag kita ka services na rin sa church. So, in-encourage ko, kanan pa rin ng mga sa family to spend your whole morning. Totang wala naman kita sa iba ng activities or all of it. So, basta ito mo matimbrano na lang itang tulog kag whole Sunday morning, 7 o'clock to 12 noon ni Akin. Ang first part, ay there mo worship ka mo din. Ang second part, a serve. Or, a serve kita anay sa aga, kung ano lang pwede ko mahulit. Kaya by doing that, by doing that, kamo ka makasawa, kamo ka makasawa. Pag tulid ninyo, may maayaw pa kung gusto niyo. Kung gusto ka kalina, ay mo kong kilala ko kasi kung ako. Kung hindi lang sila yung nagbalairan na ito, may kamunta na ito. So, so by coming here and getting involved and engaged with people, you will, you will be, you have lots of things to talk about as, as a couple. Kag, 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 kag ma-inspire ka mo, kag of course, damo sa may mabless bango sa ninyo. You know, God, God pray ka sa ninyo mo that you, the church will really, really grow so you need a lot of money. Kaya imagine mo wala akong tabo, kung aga, kasi hindi ka mo, ang church day, nakanto na lang ko gari sa kasutang, masimba ko ang night, second service, mabuli ko na sa aringlar sa parking, mabuli ko na mo sa inyo. Diba? Ang alam niyan, kag imagine mo ganan kita na gagal ko in interviews. Kag, let me use this as a reminder sa mga parents. Parents, especially sa may mga gagmay mga bata. Please, don't make your children as an excuse na hindi ka makalagyan sa inyo. Because ang children are blessings of the Lord. Hindi na sila all sa all sa patalan. Nagapati nila ko pag gusto may patalan. Pero pag ayaw, may patalan. Pero sa unang mga sa gusto ng church, Gamay na sila rin, no? Ito pa kami sa Miranda, bit-bit-bit-bit. Sakay sa series, where's that yan? Sa atong, pag in-bless naman kita, may salakapyan naman kita. Really, go lang rin. Bago parents, first service, kami mo take care sa mga bata. Second service, kami mo naman take care. Always, mabuligay ka. Let's encourage one another. Because we want to see families truly glorifying God, showing how beautiful our Savior is. The first thing I just want, no? Kita mo ang tatay na hindi kita magdinaman. So let me ask you: Fear the Lord and serve Him with sincerity and faithfulness. Ang mga tulong kasi ano? Are you serving the Lord with sincerity and faithfulness? Kasi pala, ka-check attendance ka lang din, no? Kung kung mag-serve ka mo, mag-fear ka mo sa din mo, ha? Mag-serve niyo. Be sincere. Be faithful. Tutura. Hindi tayo ka pa-hopeless ka, no? Kasi niya, put away the gods. Kung ano man na ang mga ando mo, that amo ang naging obstacle sa paghatag mo, sa best mo sa din mo, put away. Kasi niya, that your father served beyond the river in Egypt and served the Lord. And if it is evil in your eyes to serve the Lord, choose this day whom you will serve. Kung wala ikaw gana, kung wala gana man ang pagkanto mo rin sa church, pili ka na lang. Pasimba ka, hindi. Hindi ako pag-alala lang. Ito? Eh kung magsimba ka man lang, eh, you know, eh nahuya ka lang ng pastor. 
Pero hindi ka lang sisiro ang pagsimba mo o lang ang gano'n ang galang. Hindi nga lang. Kaya ko, choose this day who you will serve. Kaya pra ka ako. Ang God sa fathers mo, ang mga Diyos ni Diyos mo rin. Ang mga handog sa mga barkada mo. Ang handog mo ang Muslim. Sino yung tipawal mo? Ang kwarta sa Taylor Swift or sa Simpo. Tigay ka na lang sa buo. Don't waste your time. Pero sa inyo, pero sa inyo ni Diyos, what's in your life is for me and my house. Pero ako yan, si Dr. Mayri, si Eric, we will serve you. Nagkami ka mungan ng mga tatay sa inyo suho ng mga naging kapagalaga. This is here. Hindi nyo pa pakita sa inyo mga bata na mayroon na kamang pakita din, mayroon na dito. Hindi nyo pa pakita. Ay nga, ang inahalita ng inyong mata. Nagaan nyo yung lousy example ng inyong mga mata. You will develop lousy children sa paglalaban sa inyo. Nagkamuha nyo sa ulitin mo sa akin. And that is why, as husbands and wife, kayo mo na ako. And so that, by the grace of God, He will say, as for me and my house, we will serve. You know, tandaan na kami mga tatay, a loving husband will die for the spiritual wellness and live for the physical wellness of his life. Are you ready? Will you die for the spiritual welfare and live for the physical wellness? Next Sunday, may encourage ko kang mo, is to be family. Ngayon ko sa inyo, mga nanay at katay, gandaanin na gandaanin yung mga mga. Because we will be talking about parent, parents, and children. Naginahandog na ako next Sunday, yung may nga kita, you'll be here, and we will pray for our children. We will bless them. Kung sa mga walang nga niya katay, wala akong sige hindi ka kita sa spiritual father. So that we will be encouraged to say, you know, God is our Father, and that's for me and my house. We will serve. Amen. A loving husband will die for the spiritual wellness and live for the physical wellness. Lord, tapang na niya. Your Holy Spirit, tapang. In Jesus' name.